Scientists' terrifying new discovery about dark matter changes everything. Discovery of new information on the enigmatic dark matter has left scientists scratching their heads. Scientists are baffled once again by measurements of distant galaxies that contradict their current understanding of dark matter's composition. The enigmatic unseen substance that makes up the majority of the mass of galaxies, including our own Milky Way. Till now, were we all wrong about dark matter? Let's start this episode. The huge cluster MACSJ J1206, as seen in an undated NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope picture, observations of dark matter concentrations in three huge clusters of galaxies spanning trillions of stars show a disagreement with the theoretical computer calculations of how dark matter should be distributed. Co-author and Yale University astronomer Priyam Vada Natarajan remarked, We have made a fundamental wrong assumption about the nature of dark matter. A galaxy's stars are held together by an unseen substance called dark matter. As a result, galaxies are able to form clusters thanks to an unseen scaffolding. However, it possesses a unique set of characteristics. Nothing known about this object interacts with it in any way, including light or particles. Dark matter is considered to account for 96% of the universe's mass, whereas conventional matter, the substance observable in things like stars, planets, and humans, only accounts for 4%. Only the gravitational effects of dark matter on visible stuff in space reveal its existence, different from the mysterious and invisible dark energy, which is thought to be an attribute of space and is responsible for propelling the speeded up expansion of the cosmos. It's terrible to be in the presence of darkness. Gravity is the force that pulls dark matter together. The Hubble Space Telescope and the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile were used in the new research. Physicist Massimo Meneghetti, a researcher at the Observatory of Astrophysics and Space Science in Bologna and the National Institute for Astrophysics in Italy, explained the phenomenon of gravitational lensing, which occurs when light from distant sources like galaxies travels through matter like another galaxy or a cluster of galaxies. According to the latest findings, galaxies and clusters were producing gravitational lensing effects significantly greater than current dark matter theory predicted implying an unusually high quantity of dark matter. Our world is held together by dark matter. What exactly is it? Nobody has an idea. You may view as many as 9,000 stars if you walk outdoors at night in the darkest areas on Earth. Massive infernos seem like little specks of light, and despite how many stars we can see in our galaxy, they represent just a tiny percentage of all the stars in the universe. This is the fascinating difficulty of stargazing. We must keep in mind that every tiny item we see in the night sky is enormous. But what's even more enormous is the unseen and the unknown. All the stars and all the galaxies and all the cosmos do not even begin to account for all the universe's matter and energy. There is a great deal of matter in the cosmos that has yet to be seen, touched or even known about. Scientists call it dark matter and they estimate that it makes up five times as much of the cosmos as regular matter which is what makes up people like you and me, as well as everything we can see in the night sky or feel here on Earth. In the broad scope of things, regular matter is the rarest of the rare. It's weird to even term all that normal matter. However, no one knows exactly what dark matter is. When you realize that, we are simultaneously, incredibly minuscule, a little speck of the cosmos. A Yale physicist and dark matter specialist, Priya Natarajan, said recently over the phone. It gives you intellectual and type of epistemic humility, she added. It's a pity that we don't have cantaloupe-sized brains in our heads. But on the other hand, we've already worked this out. As the narrative of dark matter illustrates, our knowledge of the cosmos is small in comparison to the mysteries and mysteries that remain unsolved. More awe is required in the world now than ever before. It also serves as a reminder that sometimes the first step in discovering the truth is to acknowledge the things we don't know. Is there a way out of this? Researchers have tried to discover what dark matter is for many years, but the detectors they devised to look for it consistently fail. Inquiring minds wonder, is it possible that they've been following a ghost? It's possible that dark matter isn't real. Instead, it's possible that physicists' theory of gravity is fundamentally wrong which would account for the anomaly. Despite the fact that dark matter may never be discovered, the quest for it continues, buoyed by trust in scientific evidence. Dark energy, not only big, but weird too. 
It's become more clear since Rubin's mind-blowing discovery in the Arizona desert about the existence of mysterious dark matter, which is thought to be responsible for a large portion of the universe's mass. Catherine Zurek, an astronomer at Caltech, says that even if we can't see it, we may nevertheless conclude that dark matter exists. If we couldn't see the moon, we'd know it was there because the seas are pushed in various ways by it, and that's how we know dark matter is there too. Scientists are unable to directly see dark matter. However, they can perceive its effects on the surrounding space and light. When vast amounts of matter are present, they may alter the very fabric of space. This is the strongest indirect evidence for dark matter. It is possible to think of dark matter as a ball of mass that punctures space-time, according to Natarajan. Dark matter stains every atom in the cosmos. Like lenses, these imperfections distort light like a mirror. Thus, we may see the distortions in astronomers' view of the universe that dark matter causes. But we cannot really see it. As a result, we know that dark matter surrounds galaxies in a spherical cocoon, giving them extra mass and enabling their stars to travel faster than Newton's equations imply. This is a Hubble Space Telescope picture of MACS J0717.5 plus 3745 a galaxy cluster located in the Milky Way galaxy. On the picture, a map of the cluster's dark matter is seen in blue. Even though these are just speculative findings, they have provided scientists with some important information regarding the nature of dark matter. Dark matter has nothing to do with its hue. It lacks any kind of hue. Dark refers to the fact that it does not refract or emit light or electromagnetic waves. As a result, not even the most powerful telescopes can provide us a clear view of it. No matter how hard you tried to grasp it, a speck of dark matter would just slip right through your fingers. In theory, if it were moving fast enough, it could theoretically pass straight through the Earth, as if it were a ghost, a dark substance. Physicists are certain of that strange truth because of this. Observations by astronomers have shown galaxy clusters that have collided like two automobiles on a roadway. It has been hypothesized by astronomers that the collision delayed and jumbled much of the regular matter in the clusters of galaxies, like two cars in a head-on collision would stop one another and crumple together. Dark matter in this particular cluster, however, was not affected in any way by the collision's breaking effects. It continued as if nothing had happened. It's worth noting that dark matter's invisibility and its inability to be touched are linked. We can't use electromagnetic force to interact with dark matter as well as providing us with illumination. Electromagnetic forces also make the environment seem more stable. Dark matter also aids scientists in their understanding of how galaxies first originated in the early cosmos. Physicist Katie Mack says, We know that dark matter has to be there to be a part of that process. In the early cosmos, it is thought that dark matter formed before the formation of regular matter, producing gravitational wells for the formation of normal matter. The dark matter created gravitational wells become the germs of galaxies. Rubin's study suggested that dark matter is not just what binds galaxies together, but that it is also what makes galaxies possible. Let us know your comments in the section below. Reaching distant parts of the universe isn't possible, but now with the help of powerful telescopes, we can sneak into other galaxies. And with Space Lab, buckle up to virtually travel to the distant parts of the universe. Just so you never miss a chance to explore the space, make sure you are subscribed along with turning on the notifications. Thanks for watching till the end.